What's going on boys? You guys seem to really enjoy my video where I show different ways to effectively gold shot, so I figured why not do the same for purple shots. Purple shots are the second most powerful power shot in Sideswipe, and there's a few different ways that I like to use them in my games. Today I'm going to be covering four different purple shot methods, and these all range from beginner to advanced, so be sure to stick around for all of them. Let's get right into number one. The pancake purple shot is going to be very similar to the pancake gold shot. The easiest way that I found to set this up is while I'm mid-air dribble, I go into the Pancake 50-50 stance, which is just putting your belly on the ball, and once I start getting boost back, I completely let off my stick and just float down with the ball. Whenever I'm ready to shoot, I just jump without touching the stick, and it usually results in a purple shot. You can also slightly adjust your car before shooting to aim your shot just a little bit. If you need more height, get under the ball a little bit more, and if you need more distance, be as in the middle of the side of the ball as possible. This is one of the easier purple shot methods, so if you struggle with this one, you may want to practice it for just a little while before moving on to some of the other ones. This shot does have an official name I believe, but I can't remember what it is at the time of this recording. If you guys happen to know it, please let me know down in the comments below and I will credit them in the description. To do this shot, you just want to jump and hit the 180 air roll button and jump again really quickly. If done correctly, you will do a very fast purple shot that usually gets a decent amount of height. I like using this whenever my opponents are trying to pre-jump challenge me. Using this method when this happens usually results in the ball flying over them as they fly over you and it leaves their net wide open for an attack. I also like using this shot when I get too close to the opponent's backboard. Since it gets so much height, you can hit really insane angles with it. This is definitely a harder shot to get down due to the precise timing, but if you can get it down, it's a pretty OP shot. I'm not really sure what to call this shot other than purple pinch reset since that's essentially what it is. To do this method, you need to slam your belly into the ball at the exact time it touches the ceiling and then do a purple shot. If done correctly, you and the ball will bounce down towards the ground and you will have a flip reset that you can use. This method is insanely good at catching people off guard because a lot of the time they don't even see that you get a reset since the ball flashes colors when doing this. Once you get your reset, you just want to hold on to your flip until you can either take a boomer shot or until your opponent challenges you and you just hit it around them. You can also do this mechanic on backboards, but you and the ball won't bounce as far away with this method, so it's a little more difficult to get a good shot with it. The timing on this method is also very tight, so practice will definitely be needed at first, but once you learn how to hit this, it will be so worth it. The last method that I have for purple shotting is the bouncing purple shot. I've done this a few times in past videos, but don't often find space to pull it off in higher ranks. To do this shot, you just have to rest your belly on top of the ball and jump without touching your stick. Sometimes, if done correctly, you can sort of bounce dribble the ball, but this is hard to do consistently and good luck trying to do it in rank. I find that instantly hitting the 180 button and changing directions is the best way to line yourself up for the next bounce. This is due to having a little bit of right and left momentum, so if you can cancel that momentum out before doing the bounce part, you won't have to do the 180 button adjustment. The best way I like to use this shot is while I'm in the air and my opponent is about to challenge me. If you can wait until they get close to you and then purple shot it towards the ground, you can take a shot after they fly past you. While this shot may not be the most effective, it still has a place and can help you get some easy goals. And that's going to do it for this purple shot video, boys. If you learned something new, please be sure to drop either a like or maybe even a sub. And if you would like more videos like this, please let me know down below. If you guys made it this far, I super appreciate it. And I will talk to you in the next one. See ya.